Ah, welcome back to another episode of Camp Chat. Today I'm in uh, the Sawtooth Mountains, which we call the Daddles. It's near Daddle. We're in very west central New Mexico. In one of our favorite camping spots. We come here a lot. I've done a couple of camp chats from this spot here. Uh, we've done uh, some uh, cooking videos from here also. We've done a lot of a lot of filming here, so we have a, a lot of history here. And I'm here with my good friends, well, my co-host, Matt. He's on, been on just about every camp chat that we have. And uh, my good friend, Ruben, who has also been on a couple of episodes of camp chat several years back. But uh, so he's not a newbie to the group. We're glad to have him back with us. And like I said, we're here in the Sawtooth Mountains, and we decided to maybe jump on this show a little bit earlier in the day than we normally would, because we can watch the clouds. We're watching the clouds build up in the background, and we had some rain yesterday. Not as bad as what we thought was going to happen, but we did have a little bit. And it seems like things are maybe boiling up a little bit earlier today. Than they were yesterday. They were definitely building up all around us yesterday. Yeah, it sure was like were. everywhere around us except for right here. Yeah, yeah. And we we were lucky. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the nice thing about the cloudy and cool weather is this is not a place we would normally come during the middle of the summer and hang out because we're talking probably close to 100 degrees, and uh, it's a little bit warm. But because of the cloud cover, I think it got up to what about 75 yesterday. Yeah, it was no, and it was, no it higher got, than 75. Right, it was yeah. beautiful, and last night was perfect sleeping weather, 59 or 58, something like that. Felt great. C couldn't really ask for much more. No, absolutely not. You know, um, well, you know, me and Matt have been coming up here, and I know Matt's father is the one who introduced him to this area. But what's your history with this area, Reuben? So I first started coming up here uh, when I was probably about 15, 16 years old. Uh, Matt's dad took us up here for the first time. and Okay. Here I am, you know, 42 years old, and so I've been coming up here for almost 20 years. Still and coming back. It's just a beautiful area. You know, it's more uh, secluded than your other traditional areas in New Mexico. That's exactly so right, yeah. That's what keeps on calling me up here is you you can find yourself away from folks. Plus, it's beautiful. It you is, know, it is you, beautiful. You get out there and you start hiking around, you get to see a lot of the formations that... Uh, we're left behind from some of the ancient volcanoes because this actually is, uh, you know, kind of a, a volcanic area, volcanic. Right. Field. I think it's called the Daddle Mongolian Field, something oh, like okay. that. So yeah. that's yeah. where a lot of these uh, formations that you see up on the rocks and I'll uh, show some of the all pictures around that he's us talking about. Yeah. come from. So yeah. yeah, it's absolutely beautiful that way. It is beautiful, and uh, like you said, one of the main reasons we come up here is because we're secluded. And we don't have, uh, we don't hear four wheelers running all night and nope. people shooting off rounds. It, it's really nice and quiet. And there is a lot of wildlife in there's, here. There's a lot of wildlife. I've a lot seen, of wildlife. I've seen a lot of elk and deer tracks in my little bit of walking around. And last year, when Matt and I came in with uh, James and Terry, we saw a more elk than we could ever count. Yeah. It was just a yeah. huge there amount of them. At least a hundred head that uh, uh, easily. were all together. The sun was going down, it was getting dark, so we couldn't really capture it well on camera, but we all were there seeing it. We all saw elk just scatter yeah. all into the forest. And yeah. It was amazing. Yeah, great and, area to see elk. Yeah. And, great and, area. And not only the elk are up here, but years ago, 20 years ago, this was a wolf introduction area where they tried to restart the population of wolves and we've Mexican never wolves. right yeah and, and we've never seen them actually but a couple of years ago when matt and i were up here we were out walking around and i was walking through an arroyo and saw what were obvious some extremely large canine tracks and i those had to have been wolf tracks sure but sure they're, they're super like, elusive and quiet and they don't want anything to do with people you know so uh, we haven't had the opportunity to, to see a wolf, although it would be really cool. I think it'd be absolutely awesome to see a wolf. <laughs> right, yeah, I know nice. I've, I've hiked up over this way and there's a pass that we like to go and take a traditional hike to. And one time when I was out here on an elk hunt, you know, I was kind of combing through that area looking for any elk and actually saw a cougar prints. Really? So yeah, okay. I well, saw I'm not a, a set of small cougar prints and of course, it was probably mama, so you saw the larger size, but yeah, you know, it's it's the unknown. You don't know what's up here. Wolf, elk, uh, cougar. There's coyotes. We heard a bunch heard of coyotes last, last night. night. Yeah, and there's not anybody up here to bug the animals, so, you know, they're, yeah. they're, they're around. Yeah. You got a and, good chance. And speaking of seeing animal, uh, animals, I'm going to get off the track of the daddles, but last weekend, Matt and I 
We're in the northern mountains near Guyana Peak and driving around and uh, a rare occasion we spotted a huge bear. We spotted a huge bear. Huge black bear. The size of a Mini Cooper. <laughs> <Yeah. bear. laughs> He's not far off. Yeah. He's not far off. As a matter of fact, when he saw us, he wasn't running. He was like waddling. Would you he call was. That? When he <laughs> saw us, he kind of tried to run, but he just sort of waddled off into the forest. But he, still quick enough to, to run away and get away before sure. we could take out a camera. Sure. And that, that was exciting. Yeah, it that's was. probably the fourth bear I've seen in the wild here in New Mexico in my almost 60 years. Sure. And, uh, but we saw a ton of elk, oh, a lot least, of deer, yeah, wild another, turkey. Another hundred elk, like 30 seconds after we saw the bear. Yeah. Followed by deer, deer. followed by turkey. And yeah, we think that because the forest has been closed for the last couple months because of the fire season and the, and the forest fire restrictions, um, yeah, the Forest Service has closed up the forest. And now that they've just reopened it, Roger and I, we're probably one of the first to go back in there and that's right. why we saw so much wildlife because we've been up there many a times and we've never seen that much wildlife sure. up there. Right, sure. I think because there's, there was no human pressure on the wildlife up yeah. there, they had just kind of adapted to that and they were everywhere. Yeah. And uh, we came in and that was, so that was a fun trip. It, it was awesome. I just had to go back to that for a minute. Yeah. It rained so much. I wanted to do a camp chat at that point, but it was non-stop rain or it looked like it could rain at any moment. So. I didn't want to uh, break out the cameras. And, glad glad and, we're getting it. Glad yeah, we're getting it. yeah, no doubt. Not complaining about the rain. Yeah, happy to have it. We need it. We'll probably get more today, and that's again, that's the reason why we decided to start up a little bit, a little bit early. But we're having a breakfast beer, yeah. And uh, I want to cheers you guys for yeah, a, cheers a great, guys. a great camping trip and coming out and hanging out with me. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, time for a drink. Yeah. So uh, I would recommend if you, if you like to get out, not be around any people. This is this is a good area to come. I, I hate to give away our good camping spots. Yeah, you know, not going to give away this particular spot. Right. But uh, we, yeah. we are in the Daddles, and da uh, you Daddle can look Mountains, at it on a calendar. Saw, and Sawtooth Mountains in the Cibola National Forest. It is in the Magdalena Ranger District of the Cibola National Forest. Right. Um, yeah, check out their website. It's out there. It's an awesome place. It gets really hot in the summertime, but uh, yeah. It, it's great it, in the spring and the fall. We lucked out this time around, yeah. We, and we've even made a few trips out here on Thanksgiving weekend. Yes, we have. And it's been nice. We you have. Know, a little bit of wind, and it's obviously cool that time of year. Oh, yeah. Sure. But, yeah. but we've had, had some great trips, and it's later on in the fall. It's uh, great out here. Uh, while we're sitting here talking, uh, this is Ruben the Manzano man. I didn't. I don't know if I introduced you at the beginning. I guess I did. Um, yeah. But, but, but go to Ruben's YouTube page. It's the Manzano Man, right? Yeah, Manzano it? Man Adventure. It's spelled M-O-N-Z-A-N-O-M-A-N, one word, and just type uh, adventure, um, and that'll, you know, queue up in YouTube uh, to hit my page. Or you could just search that same uh, Manzano Man Adventure in Google. It'll bring you right to my page. I do adventures primarily on ATV, uh, but it's all camping related. You know, I, I take you through the forest on an ATV, show you some beautiful areas through New Mexico, and just do uh, a little primitive camp. Uh, it's called ATV camping, so that's what my channel is kind of based about there. And you know, it, it's taken a liking among people, and so well, yeah, it's, it's top notch. It's, it's done. Top -notch. He's done Definitely well. Go check it out. Subscribe to his channel. Yeah. yeah, go there and check it out. You won't be disappointed. And then you might get a chance to see some of the stuff that we've done around here this weekend because I think Ruben, has been, he's been carrying a camera around, so it looks like yeah, he's, yeah. He's, he's showing what, what's going on here this weekend. And then I uh, don't want to forget my buddy Matt, the Southwest Backpacker. Look at his channel. Been a little bit off the last couple of years, but he's talking about getting back in and doing some new stuff, so I'm looking forward to seeing that. Whatever, yeah, absolutely. Whatever absolutely. you decide to do, we'll totally be back behind you and back you any way we can, man. Absolutely. Yeah. It's all for the adventure. It, all, yeah. just, it's just being outdoors. And there, there's more yeah. stuff to come. I know it's been a long time. i have uh, trying to kind of ramp up my equipment to better be able to uh, render and process some of the videos, but uh, definitely jumping back into the channel. So uh, those of you who have been asking, um, yeah. There's going to be some more Southwest Backpacker adventures on my channel. That's awesome. Well, and, and to say, and to go on, to, to go on beyond that, um, more recently, Matt has really become a really good pilot at uh, his drone. So I'm guessing you're going to see a lot more spectacular 
There's drone be footage. Some great aerial footage as well. Right. And yeah. yeah. Both good. of these guys are really good. They were flying in crazy yeah. weather conditions yesterday, and they managed to both bring their pieces back in one piece. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I, was, I was kind of amazed. It was a piece all intact. Yeah, that's success. That was a, a successful flight when you could bring it back in one piece, right? Yeah, that's it. especially when you're flying and, you know, you get up to some of those ridges up there at the peaks. You know, down here, the surface wind may uh, be calm, but once you climb up in altitude, you don't see that surface wind, and so your drone is taking on a lot of wind. You're you're getting close to uh, those cliffs up there, and you're just trying to get that Sometimes one it'll shot. Just take one, but one blast from a wall of wind. It'll yeah, hit it the exactly. You come over the cliff. Exactly. Yeah. So it, it's risky flying, but those are the shots that pay off, and it, it's worth it. Well, good. I I uh, I'm glad I uh, was able to come up here with you guys. We managed to. We kind of planned this out at the last minute because the forests have been closed for so long. We didn't know when it was going to open. Luckily for us, the monsoons have kicked in, and so they opened up the forest. So the three of us who were all outdoor guys jumped at the chance to oh, get out. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Jumped at the chance and get out. We've been absolutely. kind of sitting around waiting for this moment. So I think we're going to end this, but I want to thank you guys a lot for, for joining me and for being good friends yeah, and hanging I out. Yeah, I appreciate you yeah. having me on. and. Be Great sure, guys. Be, Great sure and go guys to Ruben's, be sure and go to Ruben's channel and check it out. You will not be disappointed. Yeah. Go to the Southwest Backpackers channel. I've always told you to go check out that. And uh, I think we're going to sign off. I'm going to do one more show. I'm going to do my MS show. I'm not going to talk about that here. That's going to save that for, save that save for that a for different show. show. Yeah, but uh, I'm going to sit here and keep the cameras rolling and do another one. Absolutely, man. Right on, guys. Thanks for coming in. I appreciate Thank you. Or yeah, out you. With me. Cheers, yep. guys. Yep. Awesome. Yep. Cheers, awesome. buddy. Cheers. Right on. Thank you for watching.